What's up, it's George Fragrance Press. Let's just cut straight to the chase. I have surpassed 1,000 and 1,500 subscribers, and I'm now on my way to 2,000 subscribers, and I haven't even mentioned that on this channel yet. It's absolutely amazing. I was buzzing when I got to 400 subscribers. I remember getting to five, it was a really odd number. When I got to 575 subscribers, I thought, okay, that's probably enough. I'm probably not getting anything after that. But now I'm here, and it's absolutely amazing. It's it's absolutely breathtaking and thank you so much for supporting. It's actually incredible because I'm in sort of two minds about it. I have the rational sort of my brain which is, well yes, I mean thinking about it, it's actually quite rare for a YouTube channel of any sort to be able to to, to, to get this far in, in such an incredibly niche territory. And then I have the irrational side of my brain that goes, so yeah, take that people from high school, I'm popular now! So anyway, I decided to do a subscriber's choice video. Uh, if you don't know what a subscriber's choice video is, essentially I'm going to give you three options uh, of fragrances that uh, I could potentially review. You pick the one that you want to see me review uh, in, in a comment uh, below, and uh, whoever, and I'll tally up all the votes, and whichever vote has the most, uh, I will actually go and review that. Now, the only one rule, of course, is, is that you must be a subscriber to my channel. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, your vote will not count. So, subscribe, obviously. Um, anyway, so the three fragrances that I have picked are absolute uh, gems within the community. Uh, they are well known, they are well loved, and they are heavy hitters. In, all, in most areas, uh, the, the, sm the smell, the quality of the smell, the compliments, all that good stuff. So you know them very well, and I've never reviewed them before, and you get to choose which one I'm going to review. So the first fragrance that you could vote for is an absolute classic. It's a fragrance that has been reviewed many a time. All the fragrances uh, in, the, in this multiple choice are, have been reviewed many a time, but this, uh, especially as it is uh, a fragrance that many reviewers um, in the community have grown up with, some have even stated that it is their favorite fragrance ever, and that is, of course, Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, the other thing, thing to note about this is it is the original formulation, yes, the strong powerhouse formulation of Le Mal. It's not the reformulated version that you can get in shops now. The second one has been touted by many fragrance viewers as the sexiest fragrance in the game, um, and we shall see about that. Uh, it is Dior on Intense the younger brother of the original Dior Homme. Now, speaking as for formulations and reformulations go, this is the reformulated version. This is the later 2013 reformulation of Dior Homme Intense. And the third and final uh, fragrance, which go, goes along with these uh, two kings, uh, is a more polarizing fragrance that some people love it, some people absolutely hate it. Um, many people have very, very uh, strong opinions on this one, and you can see what mine is if you'd like, and that is One Million by Paco Rabanne. So as you can see, these are of course club kings, club masters. Um, even if you aren't a huge fragrance fan, I can assure you, you will have smelt all three of these one time in your life. So you can decide which one you'd like me to review by just leaving a comment down below which one you'd like me to review, and of course, subscribe. Thank you, and I'm out.